This vanity was created with many pieces of IOD transfers that I had left over from many other projects. There was some winter songs, some first generation pieces, and some that, honestly, I can't remember which pattern they came from. This was one of two pieces I found when I went back to Goodwill when it reopened. I thoroughly cleaned it with TSP, and then I painted it apothecary. I love DIY apothecary green. As I was creating this piece, I started thinking about scraps and leftovers and what could be done with them. And it made me think about something. It made me think about this quilt. My granny made the pieces for this quilt many, many years ago. She had four daughters and three sons. And she suffered from skin cancer for a very, very long time. It was squamous cancer. And today, if you have a squamous cancer, you can go to the doctor and get it cut out quite easily. My husband had a squamous cancer right there. By the time he got to the surgeon, it was kind of deep, but they were able to cut it out. You can't even tell it today. I painted it with two coats of the apothecary paint. DIY paint has lots of pigment and covers well. One of the drawers would not push in tightly, so I sanded the edge with the help of my husband holding it down. I was in a rush to get this piece painted and I did not shellac it and I got bleed through. Shellac prevents bleed through from coming through. So I shellac the piece two coats and went back and painted it again with apothecary. Next, I gave the piece a coat of Big Top. Big Top is a DIY sealer. My granny tried many treatments to get rid of her cancer, even going as far as from North Carolina to Texas in the 30s to see if she could get help for them. When she came back, my mother said her cancer was even worse. They were probably quacks. So she suffered a lot, but through that suffering, she saved all these little pieces of scraps and she made each daughter a quilt set so that when each one got married, they were given their set of Dutch girl quilt pieces. Next, I started rubbing on my pieces of transfers that I had saved from various projects. I used pieces from Astoria Foliage Transfer, from Winter Song Transfer, and from a first generation transfer piece that I'd had for a very long time. I sell Iron Orchid Designs, Transfers, Molds, and Stamps at Just Around the Corner in Lincoln, North Carolina, and also in my online shop, GoodsonVintageTreasures.com. Soon I'll be selling DIY paint at the Picket Fence, Antiques, and More in Newton, North Carolina, and hopefully online. Be sure to seal your piece. I like to use Big Top before I put my transfers on them. They rub off so much easier if you do. Then just patiently rub. Don't try to rub too hard. And you can get your pieces on nice and smooth and easy. I placed the pieces so that they would look like there was a flow from the top to the bottom. And on the other side, I placed a different kind of pattern. You don't always have to have symmetry in a piece for it to be beautiful. Remember, this was the days of the Depression. My mom is 93, so everybody saves scraps and pieces. I guess that's where I get it. I'm a child of the child of the Depression. For example, my mother remembers this little stripe as being one of her dresses, and that she had a little red dress made out of this. Some of these were my aunt's teen's clothes. Some of these were my aunt Mill's clothes. And some of them were my aunt Ruby's clothes. And mother said there's even some pieces on here that were some of her brother's shirts. On top of the dresser, I added two long pieces that came off of two different Winter Song transfers that I had not used. I thought they looked lovely on top of the piece. So I guess I'm kind of like my granny. I save pieces and I try to make something new out of it. So I saved the pieces of these IOD transfers thinking that someday I would make something out of it. So maybe you can be like me. You can save your scraps and pieces and be like granny and take something that 
would be useless and turn it into something useful and beautiful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Goods and Vintage Treasures. See ya. Love ya.